What's good guys, welcome back. Um, today we're at a waste management plant. Um, there's like a tray washing machine that needs um, some extra e-stop buttons put on it for health and safety. Um, a few door actuators rewired and stuff like that. So a bit of BMS, uh, it's all in stainless tube, not big runs or anything mad, but still a bit of stainless tube. So I can show you some of that. Um, and yeah, just show you, you know, some proper industrial work. So that's pretty cool. Um, as always guys, whether you're watching this on YouTube, Instagram, whatever, please follow, please subscribe. Um, and smash that like button, it really supports what I'm trying to do, supports the content and stuff like that. Um, yeah, let's go inside and, and get to it. So, um, it's all a bit of a mad rush. At the minute, we've had a bit of confusion with the drawing, what we're supposed to be doing, what we are doing. But um, we just got to get four, seven cores from the control panel to um, to four of the start-stop buttons, basically. So we know what's going on with them, so we're just gonna get them in, crack on with them, because we know what the crack is. And then uh, once we know a bit more about the emergency stops, we'll start getting them in. So that's the BMS control panel there. Everything rises up in that trunk and comes along, and then we're on the top of the washing machine. So we've wired in two new door actuators, which are just laid on the floor there. They come along, one of them drops through this trunk in, then into a bit of stainless round, into a door actuator under there. There basically is a, a pressure switch. So if you open the door while the machine's running, it cuts off that area of the machine as a safety fail safe. Um, so two of them have failed. There's also another one just a little bit further along that we've rewired. Then at the end, <coughs> If I can get up here, are four conveyor belts. You can just sort of see them. So what they want on the conveyor belts is um, control over them, so forward, backwards, and then they also want the E stops to be in the same position as those controls. So it failed a health and safety test. They want it all in the same place so it can just all be controlled safely and securely. So what that means is we've had to take four seven cores for the E stop buttons back to here. This is where they're originally wired from. So we're gonna pull out the old ones. We've extended them with some nice new longer seven core cables. And then we'll have to extend the forward backwards controls uh, via an adaptable box mounted to this trunk in, which, you know, will pull back all of the controls. There's only two at the minute, but they want four, one on each conveyor belt, one either side. So we're gonna have to pull the two existing ones back, then double them up in parallel so that the both sets of conveyor belts can be controlled from either side, basically. So yeah, at the minute, I'm just gonna get these into here. Ryan's stripping out one of the old ones so that we can just match the connections. And then, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll start doing some the other wiring. <laughs> what in in the week? Yeah, Thursday. Oh yeah, I was doing some shit board change under the stairs. I was like, oh, I recognise that one. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it was so 
Where's that Sharpie? Last one. Yeah, it don't matter. It's just gonna fucking label this up, but I'll know that that's number one. Uh, yeah, I've got a, I've got a bike map with GoPro, and I was like, yeah, I can't use that here. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get these in as well. Okay. Yeah. Right, so we've still got to pull uh, the three other e-stops out, so we're not going to go too mad on this. This is like proper nice stainless steel trunking. It's all like interlocking and overlaps. Um, obviously, it's completely covered in crap at the minute, but I'm sure it looks pretty nice when it's freshly installed. So, what one's got there, eh? Give us a wiggle. That one. There'll be a BMS schedule anyway, that, that South African guy should have a yeah. chart and it will tell you like, you know, 21 to this, 22 to that, and it's like a just a, yeah. a chart. So that is the four emergency stop cables wired in, um, the four old emergency stop cables stripped out, and then the two door actuators as well. So now we're just gonna jump down. I'll show you some stainless tube and that sort of stuff. And we can also um, look at getting in these, these control cables too. So yeah, see you in a sec. So this is the scale of this machine. It's really, really big, the amount of motors and stuff like that involved just to make it work just for cleaning um, cleaning plastic trays is mad that's a BMS panel for it so the majority of our connections are going to be going in here um, and if not down here but we've got all the schedules and diagrams and we've got someone who's renowned at being a bit of a BMS guru here to help us out as well so shouldn't be too much drama so this is a stainless steel tube as you can see it's beautiful stuff. I'll try and show you. Um... These are the saddles. Proper hospital saddles as well. Um, 
we've got some boxes so even the um even the m4s are stainless stainless lids look at the thread on it it really is nice stuff um it's about 30 pound a length um that's how much we were getting it for so you don't want to be messing it up <laughs> uh, this is one of the couplers as well it's like military grade isn't it or nasa grade real real nice stuff yeah so um we've only got a little bit of that going in it's just where these e stop buttons are where neil is we just got to come along into the trunking the existing stuff's just completely fucked, basically so we're just renewing it for new we've also got bits like this that we've got to replace because this has just had it but they did previously spot weld these on like so you can see where it was spot welded and um, we're just going to tap and um, either tap or tap screw depending on what's behind this panel uh, this is one of them pressure switches for the door actuator um, so yeah as you can see it's, it's just ruined so we're just renewing this for new but yeah should be um, should be interesting to bend so we've got this adaptable box getting mounted to this panel here this is just going to be a junction box for all the um, control cables, the forward backwards cables. So I'm going to get this mounted up, get all the cables into it, and then um, yeah, make some lovely connections in there because it's all on show. So it's got to be my best work.
So we've just come back after having some lunch over at the canteen. Steve over up there making some connections. <laughs> Neil's just put this bit of tube in, this bit of stainless. Looking sweet. Just had to sort of kick it off to go into there. But yes, that's looking sweet. I'm going to be getting four cables from this junction box over to the conveyor belt. So I'm going to crack on with that now, get these labelled up. Right, so that's all the EPO, all the new EPO and e-stop buttons, uh, cables. That's all the cables in. So yeah, we've got one seven core to do the start stops. And then over there, we've got another seven core that's going to do the EPO button. We've also got some existing cables that serve this isolator. Um, which does this motor for the rollers. So yeah, we've got all of them in now We've got to pull back the existing cables back to our joint box, which I'm gonna do in a minute But for now, I'm just gonna get some trunk and lid back on on the home run to the BMS panel um, Get all that trunk back up and then me and Steve are gonna go through these cables together to make sure we're, we're right And um, the boys are just cracking on with the stainless. So yeah, hopefully I'll get on some of that in a bit Cables are all in, trunk and lids all back on, just getting it down into this 300 trunk in now. As you can see, it's disgusting in there. Um, so we get these two cables through, dropped into the section of the BMS panel that we need them in, and then we'll get this lidded back on. A lot of this lidding was missing anyway, um, but we just try and leave as much of it intact as we can. There's bits missing and stuff like that, it ain't really our responsibility, but um, yeah, we'll try and leave it as buttoned up as, as as much as we can, so yeah. So covers all back on as best as it can be. These are in there, so they'll get dressed down properly through the finger trunking. Um, these are going away. I believe it's up there, but he's also not sure if it's here. So we'll get this out, um, find the connection because there is cables already in for him. We're just replacing them, so it's just a like for like replacement, depending on where it is. So yeah. So I grabbed this 10mm CK screwdriver the other day so I thought it might just be the perfect fit for roofers but turns out I was, I was completely wrong. Right, we'll go see Steve-O, see how he's getting on with these connections. Yeah, so Steve O's just been putting these away in here. Looks a bit like a dog's dinner. But we've been using this SWA Ferrol Crimper. My favourite one I've used to be honest with you. Um, real nice connection. Comes in a little kit like that. So yeah, once this is all done, we're gonna jump down and uh, carry on tubing and getting the connections um, connections to their final locations. Yeah. So these cables, when we get pulled back to that box, the idea is to stay at that box. Yeah. 
No, these just get trimmed out. Yeah, that's it. And then that's what we've done. We've done one, two, three, and four for the new cabling. That's that. That, cabling. that is the first number is the new cabling. Yeah, yeah. Simple as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes, mate. Right, so that is the uh, existing start-stop cables pulled out to that corner now. So we're going to do the same for the first bay. And then these new two start-stop buttons are going to be introduced via new cabling. And hopefully we'll just parallel up the connections. Because that's an existing start-stop which controls these two conveyor belts. That's an existing start-stop that controls these two. So this one wants to be paralleled up with that one and that one wants to be paralleled up with that one. And then that way, if you're either side of this set, you can control these two. Either side of that set, you can control those two. So that's what we're hoping to do. Um, we've got our heads around the connections, but hopefully the BMS guy can make sure we get it 100% right. So yeah, now just gonna go back to this corner and start making those joints off. So I've just put the first set of uh, cables away. These are the existing cables and we're going to be joining our new ones onto them. And um, we haven't got the indent kit, so we will be indenting all of these up. Um, same with a lot of these ones, they're missing the indents. But we know what they should be, so I'm going to bring the indent kit tomorrow and get them all, all marked up so we know what they're doing. But for now, we're just going to put them in here and write a schedule for these terminals just so that we can get them away and know that they're all sweet. So at the minute, we're just trying to tidy up the cables in the trunk in low level. Um, it's disgusting down there. It's wet, it's dirty, full of grime and that. So just trying to get them all tied in and neatened up and then we can start focusing on getting the cables down these tubes. This one's not in yet, but down those other tubes there. So yeah. I don't know what's happened to this this one. No. They, 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 they all look terrible. Look at Lockie, the Lockie looks horrific. Now this one, look, look at the bung. Oh. The bung's got no thread on it.
I think I might need some slack on the uh, top of the uh, feet right now. Just uh, be close. Right, so that's us all done for day one. What we've done today is we've got two seven core cables from the BMS panel around this trunk into one actuator here um, and then another actuator here. Um, we then got four seven core cables from the EPO junction box, which is just on that trunk in before that 90. Um, and we've got them to each end of each run. Um, and then we've got four seven core cables from the stop start buttons. We pulled back the existing stop starts to this junction box here. We're then gonna double them up. So there is only two sets of control wires for each set of two conveyors. And then we're just gonna put in four. So just double up those connections so that each set of two can be controlled and stopped and start from either side of the conveyor belt. Um, we've also done a bit of galve, bit of galve. We've also done a bit of stainless. Um, so yeah, it's been hard to bend, but it's not too bad to be honest with you. Um, we've had to do some some sets to get round stuff like this. Um, but then yeah, it comes in. We've got a through there, and then this is going to be the stop start isolator. There will also be an emergency stop in the middle here. Um, we've got one more bit of tube to do. A couple of other bits actually further down there as well. We've done this side i believe as well yeah so this side's all done cables are there ready um this is halfway there really really nice the stainless stuff um real nice finish to it it does show every single mark possible <laughs> um so yeah but really really nice really really satisfying to work with um i'll try and get some footage more footage of it actually being bent and being threaded tomorrow um and then over on this side We've just got this tube to do and to get the cables through. Um, trunk and lid to go back on, tie wrap the cables in and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I hope you found it interesting. I'll be back tomorrow. I think this will probably be either one or two videos and then tomorrow will be another video. Um, so yeah, I can show you it all connected up working, um, show you a bit more of the stainless, the ratchet threader we've got, all that sort of cool stuff as well. So yeah. Hope you've enjoyed the video as usual whether you're watching on youtube or insta please um make sure you're following make sure you're subscribed and smash that like button as well really really supports what i'm trying to do and uh, yeah just helps the content thanks for watching guys i'll catch you on the next one